So we're going to look at the five graphs, according to this article, that will change your mind about poverty. Now, this is in 2017, so it's a little dated, but the trends of these graphs you can look up have, uh, have only continued. And again, remember to be careful with graphs and information and things of that nature because you want to know what is the methodology that goes into these things so you can look up further research that might provide uh, further information on this. But the article talks about that in the United States, Americans, 92% of Americans, according to one poll, believe that the share of the world population in extreme poverty has either increased or stayed the same over the last two decades. So if you went around and asked people, or if I asked you guys, or just general, if we talked to people and we said, okay, has global poverty, and we even define it as under living, people living under $2 a day, has that number of people increased, decreased, or remained the same. Most people, most Americans believe that that number, that poverty has even gotten worse, that more people are poor that, than were 20 years ago, or that the number has remained stagnant, has stayed the same. And this is also believed that 87% of people in other countries as well believe that extreme poverty has ri uh, risen or remained an intractable problem. But, and there are different reasons for why people believe that's the case, but it's untrue. It's actually the opposite. Poverty has, uh, has rapidly and majorly decreased over the last couple decades. And over the last 200 years in general, we've seen this huge amount of economic input, uh, output that is unusual. And also we've seen a rapid decrease of poverty that has focal points where it is faster than other places, but also all around the world. So you look at China, there's 50% of people in China uh, over the last 20 years were living uh, in those conditions of extreme poverty. India, Indonesia, but then you look at places in the West like Germany and the United States, only 8%. And these numbers are actually all coming uh, down in general for all of these countries and all these places around the world, that poverty is actually decreasing. We've looked before at the hockey stick graph, um, but it still is an amazing thing to think about that of all the times that you could have been born during human history, you were born here during this time, which is, if you follow the economic trend of human history, everyone, for the most part, on average, besides super wealthy people, have been poor. But even the super wealthy people during this time of human history can't compare with the average people now. King Solomon did not have electricity in 900 BC. And so we live up here. After 1820, there's this massive amount of economic output. And there's also a population explosion during this time as well. So during this time, by the way, during the late 1700s, they were thinking, okay, a lot of people now are at near starvation levels as it is living on less than $3 a day or the equivalent. If we add more people to the population, we are going to overpopulate the earth and starve to death because there isn't going to be enough food and resources. But those predictions were proved false because not only did the population go from a couple million people to now we're at seven 
over 7 billion people on the planet and increasing, but economic output increased so much as well that the 7 billion people on the planet are living at a better state now than the much fewer people living on the planet in the past. And these things occurred simultaneously. In 1820, more than 90% of the world population lived on less than $2 a day, and more than 80% lived on less than $1 a day, adjusted for inflation and purchasing power. So what that means is most people lived at or under $2 a day, and, and most people, in fact, lived on even less than that $1 a day, the equivalent of making that as their purchasing power in 1820. That was only 200 years ago, right around here. But in 2015, less than 10% of people lived on less than $1.90 a day, according to the World Bank. So global poverty in that sense has been eliminated to the point that it's now under 10%, where it was once 90% were in extreme poverty, now only 10% are in the whole world. Look at the, this trend on this graph as well. People living on less than a dollar a day, people living on less than $1.90 a day, people living on less than $2 a day. All of these, since this time of 1820, have been rapidly decreasing. And the trends indicate that they're going to continue to decrease, that the number of people in poverty has fallen despite massive population growth, that we went from 60 million people on the earth to 6.6 .6 billion in 2015 to I think we're over well over 7 billion by now and we're on our way I think to 10 10 billion people and so this graph talks about the number of people living in extreme poverty and then the number of people not living in extreme poverty and so this is trends continue until they've eventually hit here where they switched and now this is the number of people not living in extreme poverty has gone up and the people living in extreme poverty have gone down. Globally, poverty is about a quarter of what it was in 1990. 1990, 31 years ago, global poverty has been slashed by 75%. which is great news. You'd think you would hear about this all the time, but negative news and our negative pessimistic views of the world tend to get more attention and coverage, but this is, this is good. Then other measures, child mortality, hunger, illiteracy, pollution, and poverty. Here's 1990, here's 2014, and all of these things are decreasing, have gone down. Doesn't mean they're not problems. Doesn't mean they don't deserve our care and concern and attention, but it indicates that the economic output of the last 200 years and into today is producing a unique world that is historically unprecedented. And that's the world we live in that we feel like it's normal because we've always been part of it. But if we view it in historical perspective an economic perspective, this is a strange time of human history in the sense that the problems of the past have been mitigated and reduced 
to where we create new problems for ourselves. It is true, but we don't have to deal with that type of extreme grinding poverty that was experienced for most of human history. Again, we could have been born at any point of human history, but we're born now where we get to experience the benefits of these things. So extreme poverty defined as $1.25 a day will all but vanish by 2030. There is always going to be some poor. And as I said, again, poor will be redefined relative to the present situation, right? Poor in the United States is not the same thing as poor in uh, some rural area of India or something like that, where somebody's living on less than $1.25 a day. Those aren't exactly the same category. However, that type of poverty, the extreme poverty, living on less than or the equivalent of a dollar and 25 cents a day, the trend indicates, so here's 1985, this isn't that long ago, and how much poverty has been slashed since that time because the people are becoming wealthier. The trend is that in nine years, that type of poverty will be eliminated. Now, one dollar living on one dollar twenty-five a day will be eliminated. But what about two dollars a day? What about three dollars a day? What about ten dollars a day? Okay, so there will still be relative poverty, but it is being reduced uh, rapidly and somewhat surprisingly as well. So. The, the point of this overall article in these graphs is that extreme poverty has declined significantly, although you, you hardly ever hear about it. Uh, but this is one of the things 